Hey everyone, thank you for being here on the Pink Cloud 9 vodcast, trademark, video podcast on YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere else in between. Today I have a wonderful, amazing, beautiful, lovely, amazing, wonderful, beautiful, amazing, see what I said there? Author Amber Danson is here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have you here. This has been a long time coming, it feels like. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. Author Amber Danson, tell us, what is it about writing that you love the most? And tell us all about your awesome books. Thank you so much for being here. Well, I'm glad to be here. Hi, everyone. Hey. And uh, the thing I love most about writing is that it keeps me busy. I have a terrible ADHD, so I get bored very easily. But if I'm writing, I'm not bored. I always have something to do. <laughs> Yeah. I am the same way. I get bored so easily. Um, I've tried writing and yeah, I can do it for like five, 10 minutes. And then I go to like another activity or another, you know, something. And mm -hmm. so it's like, I totally get the ADHD thing. I'm totally like, like uh, low grade anxiety, you know, pink cloud nine is a recovery term for mental health and addiction. Oh. You know, so I'm glad you're here because uh, we can talk about ADHD and boredom all day long. But um, I can show you my tattoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. How long have you had it for? Uh, about eight years. Wow. That's amazing. Very, very cool. OK, cool. So tell us uh, about uh, the title of uh, one of your books, and then you can tell us about the other books, if you'd like, and how many and how people can get a hold of your books, by the way. Author Amber Danson's links will be in the description so y'all can click and buy. Yeah, read. Okay, cool. So tell us. Well, the most recent one released is The Shattered Sky, and there's not a lot out there that's like it. It's a dinosaur apocalypse novel. I love that. <laughs> yeah, uh, you get uh, the dinosaur who has visions of the future trying to save her species from the incoming meteor. Wow. Cool. And so how many pages is that one? Like lengthwise? Uh, I don't really measure my books in pages because that varies based on your format. If you're an ebook, it's going to be different page count than a paperback, but it's still going to have the same amount of words, which is close to 75,000. Is that 75,000 words? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. And then um, how long ago was it published? I released it last month, I believe, or maybe the month before. I'm so horrible with time that ties back into the ADHD. Mm -hmm. Cool. And how long uh, did you work on it? And, and how did you get the idea for it? Just to kind of give us a background. Well, my mother describes it as Watership Down with Dinosaurs. Uh, Watership Down was my one of my favorite books growing up. It's a uh, av adventure story written by Richard Adams, mm -hmm. and uh, it's about rabbits who have a visionary who has an, a vision not of the end of the world as they know it, but the end of their world, mm -hmm. and they have to flee the danger which is man-made, not a meteor. Okay, cool. And the rabbits have their adventures along the way. And uh, I always wanted to do something with dinosaurs. And it sort of occurred to me what it would be pretty neat to do something like that with dinosaurs, because then the dinosaurs have a danger to run from. They've got the doggone meteor. Right. <laughs> cool. What genre is it considered or under? That's a rough one, because I'm, I'm not really sure. I think sort of speculative fiction. Nice, nice. Um, and how did you publish? Did you do it uh, online, traditionally? Uh, Self-published on Kindle. Okay, nice. It's also okay. available on Amazon. It should be on in paperback and hardcover. Perfect, perfect. Again, the links will be in the description so y'all can read a, a sample and then, you know, buy the rest of the book. And so that's good. Um, are there paperback options? Yeah, you, the, the paperback options are available. It's just people are going to be most interested in the ebook right now. I'm running a promotion where the, the ebook is free until the 17th of May. 
Wow, that's awesome. Cool. Uh, so tell us um, a little bit more about the other books that you have on your Amazon page. The other books are the start of my dark thriller series. Mm -hmm. It's featuring a vigilante serial killer who, while he's navigating the confusing world of dealing with people because he was isolated growing up, he figures out how he can stop criminals without leaving a trail of bodies behind him. I almost spewed my coffee out. That is <laughs> awesome. I love that oh so much. Okay, great. What is the title of that one? Death's Nightmare is the first one in the series, and uh, Death's Gamble is also out on Amazon. Um, number three in the series, Shades of Death, I plan to release in October. Okay. Do you have a number two? Yeah, Death's Gamble's number two. Oh, okay. So, and that's the continuation of the first oh, one? Yeah. Oh, wow. And how many words are those? The one, the two? Well, that, the, it, it varies, actually. It really technically shouldn't vary that much, but I tell the story that it needs to be told, and I try not to tell too much or too little of it, which ended up with Death's Nightmare being about 71,000 words and Death's Gamble being closer to 90,000 words. Wow, that's amazing. Do you do the editing and all that stuff or do you have other people help you or and your cover photos? Like, well, do you do all that or? Amazon has features where you can do your own covers, but the, it's fairly limited. Mm -hmm. So I do have a cover artist and he's a really talented guy. Good. Um, For the... the the for the Death's Nightmare, Nightmare series, uh, Stephane Bergeron has is the one who's done the covers for the ones that are up. Um, it's not something he does for a living. It's something he did as a favor. Mm -hmm. So my main uh, cover artist, is his uh, name is Allie, and I really have no idea how to pronounce his last name. <laughs> he's a Scottish guy, and he's going to be doing all of my cover art and really you're going to want to watch out for Ali. He already had a show in London. He's going to be big. That's great. That's amazing. So cool. Okay, cool. And so um, when was the first time you ever like wrote a, a story or something, even if it was like in, I don't know, elementary or high school or. Well, um, the very first time I wrote an actual story, I it was either third or fourth grade. There's this itty bitty, really simple murder mystery. And I don't know what happened to it. But uh, the first time I did a real serious book, because th this was more of a children's murder mystery thing. <laughs> um, the first time I did a real serious book, I was 12. Okay. And I did uh, an, an epic fantasy that still needs to be rewritten because it still reads like it was written by someone who was 12. No. Well, yeah. that's always still lovely, you know, yeah. like that. Um, so tell us a little bit about like uh, what other things you're interested in, you know, uh, if you have any other hobbies. Uh, I know that having ADHD myself, I tried so many things i mean learning languages uh candle making jewelry mm -hmm. making makeup uh sports whatever i've tried so many things so what kind of stuff do you uh, enjoy doing as well um i crochet a lot and i do um other artistic things like coloring sculpting mm -hmm. painting yeah. um reading i do a lot of reading oh good what do you do you also read fiction or do you read both? mostly fiction yeah like uh um like what's the last every kind of fiction except romances to be honest mm -hmm. and even then i'll make exceptions for things like the outlander series <laughs> nice nice okay cool so tell us um and this is gonna you can take your time answering this question it's there's no wrong answer how do you define happiness? Um, define happiness. Find, define, whatever. <laughs> happiness is doing what you enjoy with people that you enjoy being with. 
or sometimes and I mean sometimes that can be just yourself as the person you enjoy being with because people can be perfectly happy alone yes <laughs> yes 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 we can <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. My okay. oldest daughter is an introvert. She is very happy alone a lot. I leave her be. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's what makes the world go around. All of our differences mm -hmm. you know, in similarities, you know. Okay, cool. And so what, how do you define success? That one's a little harder to define because uh, everyone seems to have their own definition. And in in the capitalist-driven society, success seems to equal money. Mm. But I really don't think that that's the only kind of success out there. Mm. Because of all the people who ever decide to write a book, only a very small percentage ever actually finish one. So that's success. Yeah. Yeah. Finishing um, projects, finishing, mm -hmm. you know, goals you know I mean, it so, might be a smaller success but it's still success and yeah. the the nice thing about success is you can multiply it mm -hmm. you get a small success you can make it grow like a plant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah cool yeah so every time um anybody asks how do you define success i always have to tell them how i feel about it and my definition of success is happiness as long as I'm happy, I'm successful. And as long as I'm successful, I'm happy, right? So for me, right. it's interconnected. And that's why I, that's when I'm, I love asking that question to everybody, to people that come on here, you know, because I love the different answers, right? Because they're not mm -hmm. always going to be the same answers. And I love the, the variety and the, you know, and so, but, but yeah, I always have to say, you know, uh, for me, success is happiness has nothing to do with money, things. Uh, happiness comes from within, outward, and not outward in, mm -hmm. you know? That's success. That's happiness. Um, contentment, joy, gladness, gratitude. Right. You know, like that, right? Um, so, yeah, that's really important because um, I, I do want to, like, get away from the, or educate people to not be so capitalist minded, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure, money is important because it feeds us, it keeps us homed and clothed and, you know, et cetera. But, you know, it's just, it's, it's not the all end all be all, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to be honest, the only reason I would like to have a whole lot of money is simply because I'd like to do two things sit around and write all day which i have to pay the bills somehow and if writing is paying the bills then i can sit around and write all day mm -hmm. and i have a list of people who need help i want to be a keanu reeves style rich person i want to dolly parton the world i want to get my friend a handicap accessible van so she can get a job and and get my fr other friend out from under her student loan debt so she can breathe right yeah yeah and all of the um and and also the 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 nearby community but also the like um the homeless foundations the children's charities i'd love to donate like big chunks of money to them you know like that oh yeah i'm yeah. already donating to saint jude and uh, kiva regularly that's great um uh i don't know how well known uh, i know saint jude everybody knows saint jude the commercials are everywhere but kiva is a smaller one what I like about Kiva is that you can donate over and over again because they don't give money away. They provide small loans with itty bitty interest rates mm -hmm. to uh, third to people in third world or developing countries. Nice. And the person gets the loan, pays it back. You get your money back and then you lend it to someone else who needs it. Very cool. I mean, you could cash out and take the money back if you want to, but I find it's more fun to just find someone else who needs it and lend it again. Yeah, I like that. Is it K-I-V-A? Yep, kiva.org. Okay, nice. Well, thank you so much, author Amber Danson, for being here. Uh, before we, uh, you know, go our separate ways, is there any last words, anything that you want to tell the audience uh, about your book, 
books or uh, the world in general? Any Anything you want to say before we say goodbye? Uh, no, just that the books will be available for free until the middle of next week, uh, ebooks only, because Amazon doesn't do free paperbacks. Mm. And uh, the only thing I would love is if everyone who downloads a copy gives me a review. Yes, that's very important. Very, very important. Review, review, review. You know, so thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so uh, author Amber Danson links will be down in the description box so you can read, leave a review, uh, buy it after, you know, the promotion is over and uh, Kindle and please, please, please check them out. Just read over it, leave a review of, you know, the sample if you don't, you know, you know, whatever, you just, do, just leave a review. I do want to say one thing real quick because I haven't had a chance to add trigger warnings to Death's Nightmare series yet. Um, I am uploading now a, a version with trigger warnings, but uh, it, it is scary. So don't read it if you're easily scared. So as far as trigger warnings, what kind of scary is it like? Because, you know, I love scary stuff. I love ghost scary and, ki and killer scary, you know, fiction stories. Um, Criminal in book theory. one, Jonathan kills one wife beater, mm. one serial rapist, mm. one drug pusher, and one psychopathic teenager who killed a toddler. Okay. And you know what? I have a lot of audience members that, even though they don't say it out loud, I know they would enjoy <laughs> reading yeah, it just, i mean that's what's fun right i mean right but you know? I, I i don't want it to shock anyone because i did have someone read it who got too scared to finish mm. sure so so you know sounds, it sounds like a great read to me i mean it sounds like uh i mean well, if it's, all, if it's like, all make it's all make believe it's fiction right. it's all fiction and if you it, can handle me you can handle me right it's mm -hmm. all entertainment. cool thank you so much for being here thank you everyone for being here, listening, watching Pink Cloud Nine podcast, video podcast on YouTube, Spotify. Uh, please be mindful of the children, the seniors, animals. Be nice, be kind, be mindful, and let's just learn to be kind. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.